Hi, this is Gabby from Speedy Set. Today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to create pattern fills in Illustrator. First, you'll have to create a seamless pattern or download one from the internet. I'm going to skip ahead from creating a seamless pattern and get right into it for this tutorial. But before I begin, I'm just going to quickly show a brief creation of a seamless pattern by going into Object Pattern Make. Now once we create our pattern, it will become a swatch. And once we have the swatch, we could just go into our swatches panel and click on our desired pattern fill. multiple ways to scale a pattern fill. In this case, I'm trying to just scale the pattern itself, not the object or shape that I've built. So as you see, I'm going to turn off transform objects and just leave transform patterns on. But as you can see, if I click transform patterns off, it will do the opposite. Now I'm going to show you how to apply it into text. Once we have a font that we like, we're going to work in the appearance panel. When we go into the appearance panel, you are just going to select fill and then click the desired pattern fill that you want. As you can see, I'm having some issues with a background color. Now the way to get rid of that would be to individually go to each text object and remove the swatch. It won't necessarily show up in the appearance panel. Sometimes it can be a little tricky with the appearance panel because not everything that you see there is going to show in the appearance panel. for this is because our text is grouped together. What we'll have to do is we will have to start over by ungrouping them and the appearance will go away and then individually take each text object and apply the fill color and the desired pattern fill. scale, we can scale the pattern down without affecting our text.
the image that we are creating. I'll quickly again show the process of making a pattern and saving it as a swatch. To escape out of that, we will then apply the second fill in the appearance panel over the other color swatch. And to make it a little bit more appealing to the eyes, we can drop down the opacity. design look even better overall let's add some strokes around our text so it really makes it pop All we have to do is just apply another swatch below with the desired color. And just to give it an even bolder effect, we'll add an extra stroke around it to give it depth from the background. And there we go, we have successfully created a design using pattern fills in the appearance. Thank you so much for watching this video.